Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Today we're going to talk about floor cleaning hacks, and let's start with the things we use. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, one of my favorite things to do is hang one of these dollar store coat hangers over a door, and then hang your brooms and devices on it. Now, if you have an item that the hook is, or the hole is too small, go ahead and use a shower curtain to create your own hook. Now, if you don't have a space like this, no problem. Go ahead and use a wall space, hang a command hook, and it can do the same thing. Now, let's talk about sweeping. So we'll sweep up the dirt, dust, and debris in our home into a little pile. But a lot of times, even when you use a dustpan, it's hard to get all that up. So scoop a paper towel right up against it, spray it with just a little bit of water, and then wipe all of that right up and throw it away. Now, if you are using a broom pan, here's a little hack for you. Get your pile of stuff ready, but spray that broom pan with just a little bit of water. Sweep up the stuff onto the broom pan, and what you'll find is all of that stuff will stick right onto the broom pan, and you can go throw it away easily. Now, sometimes in our homes, we have little areas where either the broom didn't pick it up or the vacuum didn't pick it up. So all you've got to do is put your hand into a rubber glove and spray it with a little water or get it wet ahead of time. Just rub your hand against that area. And what you'll see is it works just like a broom and it picks all of that up easily. Now this is a dollar store broom handle, but these are also like Swifters. And I grabbed a dollar store pair of fuzzy socks and I'm placing one of the socks onto this Swifter style mop. Now the great thing about this is that it's very eco-friendly and reusable. So once you get your sock onto the broom, you simply can sweep your floor up with it. It will collect all the dirt and debris. You can wash and reuse again and again. <clears throat> now here's another tip. You can use some vinegar water or just water and spritz it to also help collect that dirt and debris. But if you want to use it as a mop, go ahead and get it all wet, wring out the excess, and now you can use it as a mop over your entire floor. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but sometimes when you're vacuuming, eventually your vacuum cleaner or the bag starts to smell, releasing a nice, nasty odor. So what you can do, whether you have a bag or a canister vacuum like mine, you can open it up, and then what you'll do is sprinkle some baking soda into either the canister or into the bag, and then close it all up and keep vacuuming as normal. This works as an odor eater so that it neutralizes all of those smells while you're vacuuming. Now let's talk about tile, and this is a tip I learned from a tile company. So you're going to pour one part distilled white vinegar into a bucket, and then nine parts of water into the bucket. So an easy way to get your water into the bucket without it getting too heavy is to place a pool noodle onto your faucet on one end. Then what you're going to do is take the other end of the pool noodle and place it into the bucket and turn the water on and fill the bucket up. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is take our bucket out and get a deck brush. And you're going to dip the deck brush into the vinegar water and then you're going to put it onto your tile and you will scrub it back and forth. This is going to clean your tile, scrub it into the pores and clean your grout all at the same time. Next, get a clean bucket of water and mop your floor with a warm water rinse. The great thing about this is you can take the mop off and wash it and reuse it each time with a clean mop. Now, if you have an area of dirty grout, you're going to use some soft scrub and you're going to squirt the soft scrub into the grout and you're going to use a toothbrush to kind of spread it all over onto the grout. You're gonna go ahead and let this set for about 10 minutes so that it has time to get into the grout. Once that 10 minutes is up, come back with a toothbrush, give it a light scrub again, just to make sure that it is hitting all the dirt and debris. Then you're going to wipe it all up and then you're gonna rinse it all off so it's all clean when you're done. Notice the difference of the before and after with your tile. And I hope this inspires you to try some floor cleaning hacks of your own. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.